now we will look at the transition between D7 and G. So with the transition between D7 and G, we don't actually have a link where our finger stays exactly the same between each of the two chords. But we have all of these extra little links. With the D7, you can actually see that when we change to the G chord, our third finger just slides up one fret. So D7 to the G, your third finger is just going to slide up, and then your other two fingers are going to go down. The other interesting link between the D7 chord and the G chord is the shape of these two fingers. You can see that the, the D7 chord, you'll have it shaped like this, and then that just gets shifted up towards there. So when you are actually moving from the D7 chord, you can also think of this as a D7 chord, as your, kind of like a triangle shape, and the, then the G chord moving up to a larger triangle shape. So let's try that transition just a few times. One, two, three, four. D7, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. D7, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, D7, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, D7, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, G, 